How many of you are members of existing uh, investment club already? Okay, thank you. Um, how many of you are looking at either joining, existing, or starting a, a club? Show of hands. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, okay, now that some of you, as, as Rolf mentioned just now, are maybe individuals and you may be considering it, never heard of investment. Who's never heard of investment clubs? Okay, it's a trick question. Ah, never heard of investment clubs, sir. Okay, great. Well, my objective today in the next few minutes is to teach you three things. Why investment clubs are one of the best vehicles for you to get into the market, okay? Number one. Number two, how to set up an investment club. Number three is how PSG Online as a stockbroker can help you get started, okay? Before we get going, can I just take a few seconds to just explain who I am, where I come from? Is that okay? Okay. Um, I had a client's education at PSG Online. I've been with PSG going nearly 15 years now. Um, I am passionate about invest education. But I'm also very, very passionate about investment clubs. I wrote a, a, a call it an e-book a few years ago. Um, I'm in the process of actually updating it. And it's been a vehicle for, for a lot of people to get started. It's a guideline. Okay? There are a lot of books available out there. Um, but I'm also giving you an opportunity today to just come put your details down at my, at my desk. And I'll send you the e-book for free. You as a club can use it to get started and things like that. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> to get started, I see a lot of people um, in a situation where they think you're getting involved, but there's a challenge. And the challenge is there's a lack. What are they lack of? What do they lack? Money. Money. Okay, what else? Money. Information. What else? Time. Okay, how many of you know everything about the stock market? Okay, <laughs> there's one hand going right up in the back there. <laughs> okay. Also, we don't have knowledge. But what about experience? What about things like relationships and, and, and networks? Also, I find importantly things like motivation and drive. What about things like confidence? Okay. So that's a challenge. So what's the secret to investment clubs? Why do investment clubs work? What's the secret? The secret is one word. It's called leverage. Okay. What does leverage mean? Imagine there's a nail in a piece of wood. You take a hammer with a claw and you pull it out. That's leverage, a, a form of leverage. Okay? So on the seesaw is a form of leverage. Now, the idea of investment clubs is to leverage five, six things. Okay, that's the secret. Number one is OPM. What is OPM? Other people's money. <laughs> <laughs> what next? Okay, when I say other people's money, the idea of a, with investment club, we pool our money together. Your 100 rand pool of nine other people's money, you're a thousand rand now. You've much better chance to be able to buy a share now. Okay? 250 rand, you've got 2,500 rand. Uh, 500 rand each, you've got 5,000 rand. It's a, st it's a start. You have much better leverage that way. Do you understand what I saw when I say about other people's money? Okay. You also have other people's time. Okay. You've got 10 of you in a club. Now you can say to him, okay, let's spread the risk. Or let's, sorry, let's spread the, uh, the work. By the way, with uh, other people's money, you're also spreading the risk. Okay, your risk is in the club is only 10% if it's 10 of you. With uh, other people's time, you're also spreading the, the, the research. Each one of you take a company, for example. Okay, so now you're leveraging off other people's time. Instead of just looking at one share, you're looking at 10 companies. And out of those 10 companies, you'll choose three or four companies. That's where the secret comes in. What about things like, oh, this, I don't realize that's going to be over the slide. Okay, there we go. Okay, other people's knowledge. Now, you might have some members in your club that know things. They might be engineers. They might be doctors. They might be in telecoms already. They know what's happening in the industry. Leverage off their knowledge. Or so you might have other people's experience. Some of them might be involved in the, have been involved in the stock market. Some of them might have been involved with investment clubs. They've got experience. They know what's happened before, what, ha what doesn't happen. I always believe in learning by mistakes. I've been involved in clubs, we've lost money, made stupid mistakes, but I've learned a lot from that. I believe in making mistakes. But also, I've also been involved in clubs that are very successful. Okay, so it's other people's experience. What I find also interesting is other people's networks. Who do you know 
Okay, leveraging off that. Okay. Who do you know is in engineering? Who do you know is in, 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 uh, 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 in mining? Whatever the case might be. What's actually happening at Marukana? That kind of stuff. Now get the inside story. What's happening um, when I say other people's confidence? Let's move the world. Yes, we can do it. Okay. As a group, as an investment club, you have one big thing. Okay, it's called TEAM. You have a, the acronym called TEAM. T-E-A-M. Together, each achieves more. So yes, collectively, you have more motivation, more drive. And also, I can tell you now, you'll have more confidence. It's in the sense, you, know, you can go into the stock market yourself and go trade on for yourself. It's what we call D DIY, do it yourself. In this format, we do it what we call DIT, do it together. Okay, and that's the secret of investment clubs. Okay, so um, the solution, as I said, is other people's money, time, etc. But I'll ask you a very important question. What makes a successful investment club? Anybody? Okay, do you go back to the slides? It's people. People make investment clubs successful. Okay, it is not the investment club that makes the people successful. It's the people that make the, the club successful. And now that's one of the problems. I've been involved with clubs before. They don't do the steps properly. They don't get the right people involved from the beginning. Okay? And you've got mother fighting against daughter and father fighting against uncle. And, oh, jeez, you don't want that kind of thing. Okay, we'll talk about it just now. So, some of you are considering getting involved. I presume some of you are novice investors. Never invo got involved in the stock market before. Am I right? Okay. So, you're looking at getting your feet wet. Do it slowly. Okay, that's what an investment club can do. Some of you are more comfortable learning with other people. Okay? The investment club can do it, can do it for you. How many of you have between 200 and 500 rand to invest per month? Okay? You can even go less than that. The more, the better. Obviously, you can get the club faster. You won't get rich overnight with, with 50 rand. Okay? So, <laughs> just understand your time horizon to be a bit longer. Okay, how many of you... I've been putting off learning about investing. Okay, now you've got opportunity. How many of you feel that having a responsibility to your group will give you that much needed discipline? <laughs> okay, I think that's one of the biggest challenges for most people. We don't have the discipline. Okay, you got here on a Saturday morning earlier. That's discipline. Okay. <laughs> How many of you feel that it'll be fun to share research and discuss investment topics? Okay. Now, I know some of you haven't stuck up your hand, so you must fit into the last category. Your friend suggests that you actually need to get out of the house. And you need to meet more people. This is one way to do it, through investment club. <laughs> okay. So, hopefully, I've covered everybody now. Okay. So, let's get into what is investment club. Just quickly, as I give a quick overview, remember, it's putting your money together. That's the main thing, leveraging all that. Taking the acorn, you know the acorn, to an oak tree approach. So, right from the beginning, I want you to think big, but you're starting small. Okay, so we're pulling our money and our money's going to grow. Okay, so it starts off with a small joining fee. And I said, we'll talk about it in the next slide. The small joining fee is that money is going to give you the, the, the injection to get started. And also I find that's one way to sift out the serious people. You know the story about the chicken and the pig? Okay, the chicken and the pig. Okay, the chicken and the pig are watching the farm having breakfast. And the, and the chicken says, you know what? Those eggs, I just squeeze those eggs out. And it's so hard. So I'm involved in that farmer's breakfast. The pig looks at him and says, you know what? Tomorrow morning, I'm, in, uh, I'm committed to his breakfast. So you can be involved or you can be committed. Okay, the idea is be committed to your investment club. So I find with a, with a joining fee, you sift out the guys that, are, that want to be involved to people that are committed. And also you're going to find, I suggest, obviously, that this is the, the secret, is that magic of compounding. And I know Mark Brown will be talking about it just now with ETFs. Is that monthly rent cost averaging, Monthly commitment, okay? So um, that's where the money comes in. We're going to meet one hour per month, okay? So it's not a big time commitment. One hour per month. The idea is that it must be fun and sociable. I want to meet my friends. They're like-minded. They're positive. We're going places. It's fun and sociable. It must be the draw card. If it's not fun and sociable, you'll say it's a slip and you won't go, okay? What's very, very important, and this is where my passion lies. There must be an element of investor education. Okay, there must be in, the, in that hour, there must be a slot for investor education. And obviously, we're talking about it again just now. Very important. 
And obviously the idea is that we're going to learn and make better investment decisions. And ultimately the results from that is that you're going to be making profits. Okay. So that's a quick overview of what is Investment Club. Start with the right people from the beginning. This is one of the reasons why clubs fail. We start with the wrong people. Okay, and there's two schools of thought. Okay, so this is where you, <laughs> you need to make a very, very important decision. You can start with the people you know and trust, your family and your friends. That's one way. Okay? You keep it personal. People who know your family, uh, family and, and, and friends. Otherwise, go wide and go recruit people outside your social circle. Okay, the idea there is you build it diversity. I like a blend. I want some of my friends and family involved, but also I want our friends and family to be involved too. Okay, so that's second, second degree. Okay, very, very important. Build it diversity. Say, you sit on a piece of paper and say, okay, I want an engineer, I want a doctor, I want someone from the healthcare, I want something from the motor industry. And then go look for those people. Okay. Establish your club size. There's no minimum size. No, you know, club size doesn't consider one. Eh? <laughs> you need more than one. But uh, don't have more than 20, because then it becomes impersonal. Okay? And I also find the bigger it is, you know, the people get lazy, they don't, do that, they don't pull their weight. I find between 8 and 10. I've even gone so far as 12. You'll see just how, how we structure it. So very important to decide your club size. Um, have a regular meeting time. It. The idea is people, we are creatures of habit. If I'm going to meet every, uh, the first Monday of every month, we know it's the first Monday of every month. Okay. And also decide where you want to meet. I mean, you might want to meet in someone's house. Okay. I find it's better to meet in, like a, in a restaurant or a pub, but preferably a pub with a side room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As I say, it must be fun and sociable. You might meet in people's houses and everybody brings their snacks and drinks along and they make it sociable. But obviously socialize beforehand and we socialize afterwards. In that hour, it's business. Okay. But make it at the same time every, every month. Okay. And then very important, this is where you start sharing the workload. You elect what I call office bearers. You, you elect a president and a treasurer and a, a secretary and an educator. So out of, the four, out of the ten, four of you are what they call the office bearers. But the other guys are also all involved. Everybody pulls their weight. You're not going to be there just to ride along. Okay, whoops, sorry, wrong button. <coughs> so, what are the responsibilities of the club president? His main idea is to control meetings. He, sets, he sends out the agenda with the club secretary. He looks after the meetings. The main idea is that he keeps things on track. It must not go more than an hour. That's his main job, okay, as a club president. Also, uh, he makes sure that the club sticks to its rules. We've got a, co a constitution or operating rules. Make sure the club operates within those rules. So obviously the president needs to know those rules inside out. Okay, we'll talk about it a bit la later. He's also most of the time the club trader. He's the one who will be dealing with the stockbroker. We don't trade, we don't deal with every single member. We trade with one, with one person. He's trading on behalf of the club. Okay, so he, he goes and buys and sells, uh, actually places the order. Okay. Also, I suggest the club has a vice president. This is if the, if the, uh, the president's not there, is a backup, okay? And usually it's also the person that handles the education program. So th you always, there's always a backup, okay? This is one of the most important people of the investment club. This is someone that needs to be very careful, detail-orientated, a responsible person. This is also important to get an accountant into your team, preferably someone that knows numbers. Accountant is the best person. So he's going to administer the club. Okay. He's going to keep all the records, all the transactions, all the money flowing in and out the account. Okay. And he's also sent out the monthly statements. So it's a very, very important job. Okay. And at this point in time, I suggest you start out using just a simple Excel spreadsheet. Okay. You can go onto the websites, you can order into. Yeah, in South Africa, I haven't really come across any accounting software specifically made for investment clubs yet. I know there's international clubs. Uh, you can use that software. We use Excel spreadsheets. Obviously, as your club gets bigger and bigger and bigger, then you need to seriously look at other software. But Excel spreadsheets, fine. That's why accountant is the, the best job for that. And then the club secretary. Usually, this is a backup to the club tre treasurer also. I suggest rather split them so instead of combining the two roles, but split them. The club secretary keeps minutes of all the meetings because you need to have records. Who was not there? Who made apo apologies in that? So you need to keep the agendas, send out the agendas in time. Also very important that this is a person that 
that emails the minutes to people that weren't there and things like that. Okay. So as a person that communications, this is a communications officer. Okay, we're having a meeting next week, Monday. Please, are you going to be, are you going to be there? I'll see you there. Okay, can you, please, can you bring a, a plate of, of sandwiches? Can you please bring a Coke, whatever the case might be? Okay. It's also a very important job. They keep the records of the company, the club constitution, the club's uh, um, the original agreement and the signature page, all those kind of things. This is the, the secretary of the club. She's responsible for that. And then I find this is also a very important job, the educator. Okay. Clubs that educate their members will find that the, the, the profits will follow. If there's no education, the club will die. Most clubs will die in the first year if there's no education. Why must I go to the club? Well, we're going to talk about money. That's boring. I want to learn something new every time. So this is your draw card. Okay. So usually you'll be, the, as I say, the vice president. S have a separate person for this. An idea is that you're going to sit down with the group and work out a curriculum, work out an education program. Okay. On our website, I've got tutorials. I do webinars and all that kind of stuff. So you can plug into that stuff. Use that. Piggyback off my stuff. I don't mind. Okay. But remember in the investment club, you've got like 15 minutes to, to get across. You're going to get one idea across. How, what is a PE ratio? How do I calculate a PE ratio? How do I use to, to find shares? Okay. So use that. Just small things every month and we build up. Remember, I'm talking to you from thinking big. We're going from an oak tree, from an acorn to oak tree approach. I want you to think long term. Okay, so yes, it's a long-term education program. So, obviously, in your club rules, okay, uh, you know, you'll, you'll insist that everybody gets re-elected every year. So maybe you get new blood taking over the presidents and things like that. However, it doesn't, it doesn't stop you from stepping up again. So, okay, I'll put my hand up again to be the president or the treasurer. I find the clubs work best when the person is comfortable and he knows what he's doing. If the person's an accountant and he's doing a good job as a treasurer, keep him there. Okay. So that's how clubs work. Those are the most, imp most important uh, uh, functions of, of, the, of the club. But then as a group, as a group, all of us have members uh, as responsibilities. Remember, we want to come together, okay, and leverage, okay. I suggest you create little groups and ultimately break the stock market into groups. Okay, three different groups are going to focus. One group is going to focus on financial shares, some on industrials, and some on mining and resources. That's where you're leveraging over time. Okay, the idea there is that you're going to research those shares and come out the best opportunities within that sector and then present to the group. That's another 15 minutes of, the, of, the, of the, uh, that hour. This is what I think. Remember, I say 15 minutes, it's five minutes each. So you have to say, okay, this is our share for this month. This is why we like it. Ba, 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 ba. The more reasons you've got, more homework you've done, better research, you're going to make better decisions. I also find that, uh, obviously, you're going to make ongoing buying and selling decisions. A lot of times, you won't give a buy signal straight away. You have to wait until the buy signal comes along on technical analysis, on the charting side. So that's why I suggest also, going to, uh, on the next point, it's also very important that you track your portfolio. It's all very well to make 50% returns, but if the markets make 200% returns, you're lagging behind. So you need to track that performance also. This is the point I want to make. It's important also to create a, what I call an investment strategy. You're giving the, the club or the, this group a, a um, what's the word? The next slide, yeah. Giving them the authority to make decisions outside meeting hours. Because that's what happens a lot of times. You don't want to wait until the club meets again in a, in a month's time to make a decision to buy. You're going to miss the bus. Okay. So the, the club, usually about three or four people. They have the executive team, obviously the club president, maybe the treasurer, and maybe uh, independent, one of the other members. Okay, so they they, they'll talk on the phone or email and say, okay, the share's coming to your buy signal now, let's buy tomorrow. And you just communicate. Email to everybody, we bought the share yesterday. Congratulations, you're a shareholder now. Okay. So steps to get started. There's three formats, a very important thing. You know, it's a, uh, there's three ways to decide on the structure of the club. You know, all the documents in the past, that's why I say I'm updating my that book at the moment. In the past, in all the books, they talk about forming a partnership. The problem with the partnership, one of the guy's wives loves shoes. She goes and makes a 10,000 rand debt. You are li liable for those debts. That's the problem with a partnership. I'm just saying, you know, that's so right at the bottom. Please, please go talk to your accountant about the structure. Talk to you about a tax advisor. But the idea is that uh, you'll have a partnership agreement. 
Okay? Or documenting out. What happens if someone leaves? What happens? Do you pay the person out? Do you separate it out? Is there, is there a, uh, a, a way of buying back, back the shares? All that kind of stuff. It's all written up in a, in a partnership agreement. Okay? And then also, a lot of people look at the company format. The problem with company format can be very expensive in the sense of accountants. You, know, you, you don't need really accountants now, but you still have to go register the company. It can also be just very complicated for, uh, for most of you. Okay? You have to have a memorandum of interest and all these documents you have to be keeping records. At PHG Online, we suggest what they call a voluntary association. It's like a football club. A soccer club is a voluntary association. So it's just much simpler to administer. Uh, you just have to have a, the club's constitution or the club rules in place. Okay. But um, as I say, that, 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 that e-book I've written goes into more details. That's the very first step, deciding the club structure. Secondly, you need to decide on the joining fee. You know, I suggest this must be quite high. Yeah, sift out the people that are committed to people involved. Is it 250 rand, or is it 500 rand, or is it 1,000 rand? Okay, the initial injection. You you can start away straight away, and after your first two meetings, you'll have enough money to start buying your first shares. You have to wait four six months before you start buying. That's first of all, and that must be collectively agreed upon. Okay, decide on your monthly contributions: 100 rand, 250 rand. Okay. It's important also to decide what are you going to invest in. I suggest either start of ETFs or, or equities. Or you know, what strategy are you going to be? Remember, it's an investment club. Long term, value investing or growth investing. This is not a trading club. Buy and sell, buy and sell. This is buy and hold. Okay, different strategy. And implement that strategy. How are you going to do it? Let's be documented. Okay, research team, how you find the shares, how you create a watch list, make recommendations by consensus, we agree, okay, on what shares to buy. And then obviously, you want to open up a trading account, and I suggest come join PSG. <laughs> what does PSG stand for? Profits so good, people so great. <laughs> okay, obviously we stock broke over the year, three years in a row now, okay. Uh, we have a broad range of products. Okay, yes, so I do have the equities. When I say EQT, is equities, shares, and ETFs. But we've got everything else. We've got nine different products. So, so one platform, one login, unlimited. Okay. We have a trading platform. You have DMA, direct market access. There's no delay. There's no supervisor. Go straight into the market. What price you see is what's happening. Mobility, you trade anywhere. And obviously the research platform, we've got all the tools available for you. Watch lists regular news updates, education, etc. Okay. I'm running out of time. Let me go into the questions quickly. So guys, quickly, leverage. The benefits as such is um, you're going to make profits, you're going to learn, it's social and fun. But that's the main thing. Have a plan. Okay. Think big, start small. Those are the main advantages. Okay.